day, another dollar. Good morning, sports fans. So it's Monday morning. We're just signing as usual. Starting a little bit late today, 25 past now. Being in the office since about uh, seven. Just getting things sorted out. Now we're going to go pop and cut a job in town centre. Pick some materials up some screw fix. Dale is on holiday again. He's actually taking a week off to go to Italy this time. So again, I am left running the show. Nightmare. Do not take operations managers for granted because if you do, you just don't appreciate them. Like to say, when this guy's gone, it's ruthless. I'm trying to dial out the phones. My laptop won't work this morning. My taskbar won't come up. I am no good with stuff like that. Give me a boiler and I will fix it. Like to say, today we're going to start the job of fixing, well, fitting 34 new horse drinkers. So I'm going to pop supplies, pick some bits up, then I'm going to get to the site and show you what they're all about. Well, you know, that's how we start the day off. Bit of cool and bit of chillax. Cheers, lad. So, we've got to pop to Euro Car Parts in Beverly because uh, I was in Hull, went to Halfords, and apparently these new vehicles, these French vehicles as well, they're not we've got, obviously. Again, I was going to go for a Ford, but at the time, it just 16 grand van this, obviously bought it outright. Uh, no, on HP, sorry. The transits are just ridiculous extortion at the moment, so it's come up with a few little things on the dashboard, which is obviously like your boiler, keeping the boiler service, keeping on top of the cool and stuff. So I've just topped them up now. I'm gonna get booked in for service to be fair the next few weeks because I need new brakes put on. I've actually bought to be fair with you. I bought brake pads for the van. So I'm like that, mate. I'm like I bought them. I'm thinking, do I ever go them? I don't know. I can't see it being that hard. I mean, what's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. Yeah, it can do, mate. I'm just going to show up the fans. I can't see it being that hard, mate. Like, look, it's just you put the pads on, that's it. And I think they just clip on. I think you've got to take your wheel off. But again, look, I will... Uh, I'll go on YouTube, have a look. If I don't feel competent, we're taking it to the garage. Just, I'm one of them, I like to do things and control what I can control. So, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, van's filled up. Frankie, do you want to grab us them bits, pal? What bits? Just done bottles at the front and put them in the back for us, pal. Uh, scroll fix now. Go get some bits. What's here, Frank? Milwaukee's over there again, look. We've walked in and there it is. The old... My boy George trying to sell me, won't you, George? He was fuming the other day because I've been and bought one from Plum Centre. But, as I said to him, they aren't bad. But I've gone for the Arnox cutter for the reason being. Because they're meant to be a lot better. So, George is just trying to set me up now with some bits. What we're saying then? Are we really going to have to use D-Walt and the Milwaukee D drills? Yeah. Shocking, mate. Shocking. That'll do, though. Dirty. Cheers, lad. I don't wear at Worsley. I don't wear at Plum Centre. But, they have Milwaukee stuff on hand. So, I thought, do you know what? We've got a job today. I've got all my M18 gear, which is eventually getting phased out. I don't even have to use it normally. I use all my M12 stuff. So I was going for the M12 uh, drill, but I didn't have it in, did he? No. So I bought it, so we'll go back to the M18 today. But look, it is what it is. We just crack on it. It'd be nice to have it. I've told them to get a price for me and give me a ring. So I'm one of them, I like to buy things from people. I don't like buying things offline. Buy of people, and people person. Right, next job. I've got hairdressers to look at. I've got an issue with a zone valve, so I'm gonna try and look at that now. And if not, we're heading to one of our commercial sites. We've got 34 horse drinkers to fit. Let's go. So, fortunately for us, we've drove by. The client is in. He's getting the tools now. We've got hairdressers over there in Beverly. I think Connor and George have been out to this. They've had an issue with the hot water. Dale's booked in for me to change the diverter valve or tool part. I don't know what it is. Under recollection, this got refaired a few years ago. We didn't do it. They got someone else in to do it. Uh, we were too expensive in a nutshell. But we're back to all the repairs, which is weird. But anyway, I'm not going to moan. Uh, so I need to find out what's what. I'm sure it's a system boy. We're going to cylinder. We're going to pop in there now, have a little look, see what's what. I'd have thought this would have had a warranty on it, but again, is what it is. So, Evan Quarter, let's go. Good job. Oh, mate, hang on. What's going on here? Why, why, why are we getting diverter? What are we getting diverter for for that? That boiler's not even that old. Right, so he's got the heating on that. Why has he got the heating on? Something's wrong with his controls. We need to see what's going on and find the problem here because they're saying they've not what some said about diabetes about and I don't know why we've been fit the diabetes about. It's ridiculous. So let's get to the bottom of this now. Did ya? Right, so issue is with this. Tell me I'm to have the heating on at least. 
Heat needs to be on at least uh, 20 degrees to have it on. They're saying that there is an issue with the diabetic valve and the boiler. I don't think there is. I think what we're getting is, personally, there's a valve that's blending somewhere that I ain't got a check valve on it. And what it's doing is, is creating a lack of hot water flow. And you can get that. And what happens is the cold main gets pulled back through the boiler and goes on. So what I'm going to do now is just do a couple little checks on the hot water side of things. Again, the boiler's been set up to absolutely inefficient. Doesn't need to be up to that max. Hot water again, 60 degrees more than adequate. So what we'll do now, we'll run the hot tap, see what happens. Just run that hot tap on the heating, please, pal. Just want to see what happens with the boiler going through its parameters. Because it's a bit confusing, so keep that running. Nope. That's not hot, that must be cold, that turned it to the other side. I thought it could have been uh, a hot water issue, basically what I mean is when you're working air just like this, they tend to fit these uh, spray mixers that don't have check valves and stuff in, so what I sometimes you find is that the... Mate, what's going on with this? I'm just finding things that's going on like mental. Like, that's isolated, you know what I mean? But uh, what I tend it can be is that we find it shows that things have been not... Not installed so correctly, but you should put check lines, things like that on. Now, they are causing issues with it's cold mains in, obviously hot mains out, so it's balanced kind of system, if you know what I mean. The boiler's not registering that it, it's got a signal for hot water, so I need to look at the flow table. Now, the older ones used to have like a little switch which you sat on. There's a little electrical one there, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be flow table. So I'm going to ring technical now. Frankie's got my little step up to my little short ass. Cheers, Frank. Thank you for calling Ideal Heating. Please be aware that all calls are recorded for training and monitoring purposes. What boiler is it, mate? Fingers that case. Just put the full trap down. Pull the front flap down. Ideal Logic Max C30. Please visit our website, idealheating.com forward slash contact hyphen. Hopefully, we'll get through quick. Come on. Press one if the boiler is within the warranty period and you are calling to report a fault. Press two if the boiler is outside the warranty period and you are calling to report a fault. Press three if you are a gas safe registered engineer calling for technical assistance. I, I do think the boiler's in warranty. So, uh, I'm going to find out what the issue is. Then speak to Dom, because then I'll get a repair for your charge. Obviously, that's what I'm about to my client's money. See what's what. Yeah, technical, please. Right, um, we've all on call at the moment. Sir, am I okay to get them to give you a call back? Are you, how long are we looking at? Because I'm stood in front of the boiler now, that's all. I've got the case. I know I know you can't give oh, a thing, but well, I've got other jobs to do yeah, today, so like, can I wait until someone's available? I'd rather wait if possible. So I don't want to call back I now. I can't tell when they're all on call, I'm afraid. Um, I will put you well on site. Mm hmm. Um, so you do become a priority, as I say, but I just can't guarantee how long it'll be. Oh, nightmare. Or the only other option is to try again, or and um, I can give you another number to try for them. Yeah, uh, well, can you put me on the... Can you put me on... Uh, obviously, let them know that I'm on site, and what I'll do is I'll, I will try again, obviously, if that's all right, because I've got other jobs ahead of me. I know it's not your fault, it's just I'm trying to get a bit of an answer on a question, that's all. Yeah, yeah. If I can take your name, please. Yep, yeah, it's Nathan. And can I take the best contact number for yourself, please? 0789. Definitely you can really do, bud. Don't you test the voltage going up to the turbine itself. Right, so how do I do that? Disconnect the white pin into it. So it's a weird one. The boiler's firing hot water now, so I've spoken to technical. I've gone through all our parameters here. Uh, it's bumped to this pin, and I'm testing against... Was it that one there? This one. I've just tested against the two wires, which is my low voltage circuit, on that. <clears throat> disconnected that, and that had an issue with that. But now I've disconnected it. Put it back in. It could have been just a surplus bit. I wish something in the diverter. You can see. Boiler shut off. Let's fire it up again. Sound like it fired that, didn't it? Yeah, it did sound like fired that, yeah, did it? So, it was worth while popping down because apparently someone still needed that there. Obviously, the boiler was still under warranty about what it's going to speak to them about now. But uh, it just seemed like there seemed to be an issue with the 
Flow side, I think, not the flow. The turbine, I don't know why, but there's as if there was some kind of one going on with that pin going inside. So I put it back in. We'll monitor over the next few weeks and just leave that, but for now we'll put it back and uh, call it a day. So yeah. Yeah, cheers, pal. Nice and hot, that. To be fair, boiler's fired. The red hot, what I'm going to do, because I don't like them. Crap. Flow rate on them are rubbish, obviously. They're, they're not the best things, you know what I mean? So you see now, hot water's on there, 53. So, happy days. I'm going to leave it like that and uh, just tell the client to monitor it, like I say, but I believe the boiler's under one, it? so it's what it is. But we're happy. Job's done. On to the next. And that's what we're about out of Frank. Yeah, yeah. Fixing, repairing again. I do know a lot of things, but you can never ever worry about when you're on technical boilers as well, like things that are just ring technical, you know, they're there to help you. And usually they're good. We tend to fit the ideal boilers. Frank has been at the man pack now. Uh, we tend to fit a lot of the ideal boilers. We found that the warranty side of things and even the technical advice side of things is good. It's, it's pretty streamlined. But like I say, you just take your time, methodical. I basically, what I do is I go to the point of what I know and what I can test without making rash decisions. I've five minutes on the phone with technical. They've got the, I know they're waking up a computer and checking spreadsheets, da, 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 but they go through a systematic process to get the job done eliminated, obviously. That time is definitely billable as well, like I say, in the boilers under warranty, they've asked us to come out and repair the boiler. We could have turned on. Yeah, sorry, so I was saying, you can come round uh, as a company and that time is chargeable, like I was just saying. And the reason being is, it's a needs and a must. They need the hot water working to be able to do their clients. If not, the cat wash the hairs, it becomes a nightmare. Da, 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 so on and so on and so on. So repaired at that time, sorted out, took the flow turbine apart, put it back together, it's working fine. Weird, but it happens, obviously things can happen. So I've made them aware we need to speak to the owner of the property, just make sure the boiler has been registered because I, there's no benchmark. I don't know if it has been registered. Again, it isn't my issue. Not saying that in a bad way, but it's just always nice to help the client out where we can. Isn't it, Frank? You know what I mean? I'm saying, lad, you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. So now we're going to head up now to one of our commercial sites and fit about. 34 horse drinkers, the lads are on time as well, it's 10 to 12 now, been a bit of a manic morning, we haven't done much, but Frank has seen the proof in the pudding, I'm one of the best engineers in the UK, aren't Frank? Yeah, yeah. And I ain't ashamed to admit it, I can't help it, but that's the way, that's the crown I've chose to wear. Ah, here we have it, millions of horse drinkers. So, there is 34 of these to fit, I'm going to get a box of these now and start getting them fitted. Fixed to attach the walls. The only thing I don't like about these is these are plastic. The ones are metal that are in, but they're just old and dated. So I'll show you what these are. Dun, 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 dun. So this is what we're changing. So these drinkers are old. They're dated. You can see. Well past the sell bar date. Fortunately for me, I think everyone has got a uh, local isolation on. So I'm going to get this one disconnected now. Get them set up with a new one. Uh, and then good to go, just get them set up and done. There's 21 to do on this row, and then we've got in another yard over there, there's 21 in this one, and then maybe 34 in total, so at least 13 left. So we'll see which ones we can do over there. But for now, I'm gonna get set up and just attack this one. Insulation bag, because we're installing. That's all right. It's not my life, that, innit? They've been putting some piles and that's got a shot of plastic clip there to see in better days. I'll get that isolated. These are fed off a borehole well as well, so not for cool main. Not for a borehole well under the ground. They've got a natural reservoir on this site, so save money, which makes sense. I think I've had to do these to be fair. That's one. Let's get the posy impact driver. Bought concrete fixing and there's a reason being behind for that. 
because when I fit that one on there, uh, I want a good solid fixing. So when it comes to ones and some wooden stables, we're going to look at putting some anchor fixings in. But for now, I've got some fixings that are strong as our proper concrete fixings, but hopefully we'll get a good fix. Frank is on the dinner routine. A bit annoyed I've had to do all this, but that is part of what I buy. I've had to buy these Dewalt bits, uh, six mil. So I bought these easy drive concrete screws. So again, you just put them in with a fixing. Uh, all you do is just drill your holes to the length of that, which I'll do. So you can see I've got the right drill bit, the length of that. Load it up with a washer and then put it on. So I'm hoping that this gives us a good, solid fixing. Weird little float valve, literally an attack connector should go straight into there all being well. And all I need to do there is put that on. Good solid fix in and we should be good to go. Oh you beauty, look at that, boom, straighten as well. Screws in tight, so let's see. More about jobs like this, working smart. They're mint, them. Absolutely mint, so we'll get it leveled up. Now, right, pulling that off, I'm going to get that off as if to break it off. Yeah, can you imagine if they're all like this? You know they're not going to be there, don't you? They're too easy like that. Here's your first problem. Right, lad. Well, that's really good. I'm impressed with them, mate. It's all good as well. It's still up now, so... Happy days. What I'll do, we'll do this. Put this one back. We'll go start the one, can't we? Lightweight then though. Miles better then. We've got a plug there to clean it out as well, so absolute breeze. They're beautiful to do them. Well to be fair, the first one went well. Nice and solid fixing. Again we'll just connect it back to there, test that for leaks, we're good. So all in all, jobs are good then. If this one's been installed, that's come up as clip. What I'll do with that, because that's got a bit of tension on it, and again, that's just absolutely shaft in it. Okay, I'm gonna whip that, put that one down a little bit lower, and move it to the side so I can get a screwdriver as well. But all in all, not a bad little job. These drinkers, to be fair, pretty straightforward. There's 34 of these to do, so they come back with a fracture. What I'll do is fit it. Frankie's behind me doing that. I'm gonna do a couple just to get the ball rolling and then once I've got that done, I'm gonna hand over to Frankie, get a little bit of video in, and then we'll teach him how to fit one, how to use a screw gun and all that and a little bit of it in between. So stay tuned. And like I say, Mike Pipe says, if you went testing, you're guessing. Stuff like this always chest your water levels as well. Whee! Right, that's good. Happy days with that. Right there, mate. See how they corrugate at the back. What that does is create strength. Obviously, if it was on the side like that, I'd have been concerned. But to be fair, I'm quite happy with it. So again, with them, I hate them bits. But when you kitted out like me, we've got the mate. You ain't even got. Do you know what? It's Milwaukee. That I ain't got Milwaukee. I've got in that. 
we all know it's gonna walk in there, don't we? So in with that, no plug in the wall, it's still baffled my head how many's where. There's no plug in the wall. I'm literally just going straight into the block, the concrete block, and then what I'm gonna do, grab my belt level, get it something like, and then we're good to go. Out and then what we'll do, Frankie lad, nip up. It's nice where that's because it's like factory where you can't really go wrong. You just literally door to door, next door, 20 to do now, get these done today, uh, and we'll frame it out, pal. Yeah. So, again. What we're going to do first is Frankie, we're going to test and make sure it fills up, the level of the water shut off, and then we'll put the lid on. But that's where you come in on this So, what I'll do now. Keep it going, straight to you. You're going to get your lid on there now, aren't you? So, before you put your lid on though, what we're looking for here, it's not a trick question. Just asking the question because obviously if you put your lid on there and you don't, it's, it carries on filling as a fault. So what would you do? Take the lid off and let it fill. You could do, but you, that, you said it right there. Basically, what you said there in English terms, rather than take the lid off, leave the lid off, let it fill, let it stop at its final level. So force it to its final level as well. Yeah. And that's good. So your lid can go on now. If you test it, you know it's good when you put the lid on. You know it's done. So like I say, I'm a big believer in investing in the youth as well. Uh, to grow your business, so many people ask me, how do you grow a business? Apprentice is the way forward. Yes, it's a bit of a struggle to start, because obviously, like this with a model and doing stuff, it is tricky and hard to do. But you have to let them do it to grow the business. So anybody out there, like I have so many people that go, I ain't got time, da 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 da. Trust me, it pays tenfold in six months time. If you breed them right, get them doing your ways, it's like having an extra pair of hands with you. It takes a lot of the monogamy jobs, what you call it, the simple little task that drilling and scrubbing off because the lads can do it where you can focus on the bit of things, so take that on that. Framing today. And as quick as that, 20 past one, the lad is on with doing one himself. Look at that boom, I've set him up. How's it going, lad? Good, yeah. So it's always better you can if you can try to do that, get your lads going. And like I say, I'm sat in my dinner now. I had his dinner for 20 minutes earlier. So I'll sit up dinner now, just while I'm having a go at this. In the day, you can't really go wrong. Safe environment, I'm literally running with dinner now. So I'll let my boys while I did the first couple just to get the ball going and understand what's going on. It's, now it's time for him to learn. The last one we just done, we just spent literally about 20 minutes going through it. The methodical process, what to do, how to drill it, da da da. So I'm going to leave him to this one. Just let him have a go. Then the day if he goes wrong, I'll just redo it like I say. It's not in the well, but this is where you, you're getting a catch you grow your business. Do you know? That's what we do. So yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, the lad's done well to be fair. He's done really, really well. Oh, yeah, I'm impressed. He's not just on his last one now, to be fair, he's picked up his games there and he's done really, really well as a frank killer lad. He's uh, happy with it. I'm sure you are as well. But yeah, it's been one of the days we've got quite a few done. I think we ended up doing about 15 of them today. So we've pushed on. He's happy, he's got new drinking water. And Frankie's looking now, this one's done. Bit of water, we're good, we're solid. I just need to go test them all, just make sure not leak, it's just dead water and make safe from the old ones. But I'm impressed with the durability and the instability, and I've got Frankie now. Second week in, mate, it's fitting drinkers, boom! This kid's going to take over. Hi, hey, Frank. Yeah, sir. Sign us out then, Frank, because we're done for today, obviously. We like to give a little bit of a sign out on every job we do, so whatever you want to say to the sports fans. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, I've learned a lot today, you know. Off the master, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna deny that. I'm not gonna deny. What I'm gonna do is sit in my little air bell. In the oh, God, I fell down in my little corner. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.